talking about the wet lines. Lockdown's over and we're back fishing. You find me down at Cackle Hill for a little 48 hour. The lake is absolutely ram over. Not really a fan of vlogging under pressure, but we've got people everywhere, full lake. Let's come down 48 hours. Got here last night at about 7 pm. Obviously, it takes me about a month of Sundays to set my stuff up, so. Got one rod out. And then, uh, as I show you now, about a quarter of one last night. Got a nice little mirror. I think it was about £11. I didn't weigh it, because obviously. Bothered. I think it's about £11. If you've got a different opinion, please drop it in the box. I'm not really sure myself. So, so I'm up on Specy 2, the top lake of Cackle Hill. I'll spin the camera around, give you a little bush as where we're at. We're currently on what's now known as Peg 2, due to the Covid health and safety regs. There's now a swim between me and the next guy up that's free. You'll recognise this one, we've been in it before, let me show you around. So yes indeed. It feels absolutely marvellous to be on the bank again, I won't lie to you. You've had two, three, four months of just going to work, because I'm a key worker, let me introduce you to that fact. Or just being at home. That feels pretty good to be on the bank. Anyway, if we have any updates, we'll hit you up. Stay tuned. Another. 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 It's now five to three, call it three o'clock of full day one. Alright, so far I've had two fish, two common, not to say that's a lie, two mirrors. One was about eleven pounds, didn't weigh that one. Very unprepared by that point. And the other one was thirteen and a half pounds as you've seen. And uh, yeah, it's not going too bad. I mean I'm happy to have not blanked. I haven't blanked. I haven't caught a fish for what seems like an eternity. Well, I worked it out. I haven't actually caught a fish before today since last July. It's now May. Do the maths. It's a long time. Yeah, so sorry there wasn't any footage of me actually catching those fish. This one handed, one man camera and fishing action. It's difficult. It's alright if I had a GoPro, but I don't. I've got a normal camera. But I'll do my best to see if we can get some in-action video. While I've got you, if you're still there, I'd very much appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button if you like the video, dislike, if you don't like the video, it's all, it's all fair play. My only qualm is, look at this stat. This one right here. It's about 90% of our viewers, unless it's changed by the time. Do the video, but 90% of you viewers who watch us are not subscribed. Now, if you're unaware, to subscribe, you click that red button just down here, click that bell, you'll get notified straight away when we do a video, and also clicking subscribe does not cost a penny, it's free. So I don't want you out there thinking, oh, I'd love to subscribe, but it costs money. No, to subscribe, the work line's absolutely free. As soon as we do videos, you click that bell, you get notified of it. It might be fishing trips, fishing reviews, rigs, all manner of things in this channel. 
Obviously things are a bit more difficult at the minute with this COVID situation. I mean, I've managed to get myself on the bank, but others haven't yet. Hopefully we'll all be out soon and the videos have a lot more content to them. So yeah, at the minute, as I say, it's three o'clock. It keeps going through patches of hot sun. Now overcast, a little bit of wind. So it's, it's, not, it's a nice day. But I think we're right on the cusp of the fish spawning. See a few fish slapping about yesterday over in the reed, so it might be that they're about to get on with their business. But I've had two. We've still got a day and a half left. Plenty of opportunities. I've just put two new rigs out. One of my rods has got an IQD rig. With a, I haven't got I haven't got one left. I've used the last one with a was it 12 mil? 12 mil cell boilie that's been soaked in garlic goo and that's been soaked in that garlic goo since I think the beginning of last year when we went to Cottington so I, that was the year before I'm not even sure but that's what's got me the two fish so far the IQD rig cell boilie soaked in garlic goo the other one I've just put on there because I've seen a few fish swimming around on top I've, gone, I've tried to do a bit of the zig rig I'm not really a zig rig professional. I'm not 100% out of doing, but I've got the idea. So the water's about six foot there, where I'm fishing. So I've tried to put one at about five foot. So if they are right on top, or just below, hopefully just below is where I am. So we'll see if we get any results from that. And naturally, if we do, you'll see it in a minute. If you don't, You'll probably see some bush footage or something, just, you know. A little bit of lake, a little bit of bush, maybe some wildlife. You know, the generic fishing video fillers. I won't spoil it though for you. Cider of the Sesh. Righty ho, people. For today on Cider of the Sesh, we've gone for something a little bit funky. We've gone for a little bit of this crane cider, blueberries and apples. Never heard of it. We're gonna get, we're gonna tuck in. We're gonna see what it's about. It's crafted in Great Britain by founder and twin brothers. Naturally light. Oh, 30% fewer calories. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Have I got some kind of healthy cider here without realizing it? It's gluten free. What have I bought? Vegan friendly. Yeah, yeah, I should have read this. Crane cider is naturally light, using both cranberries and apples to produce their refreshingly crisp cider with blueberries and apples for that deliciously fruity taste. Oh, 30% fewer calories than brand leaders by utilizing their fruit. I um, mean, that makes me ask a key question. What are Copperberg doing if they're not utilizing their fruits? Anyway, what we 
we've got? What percentage is this? 4%. So even though they're utilising their throat, it's still the same alcohol level as a copper bug. For an example, right, let's see if we can pop this over all this. Not really. Oh, yes, we can. So let's tuck in this cranes, cider, blueberries, and apples. The sun's come out, it's a good time. Well, I'm not gonna lie to you. That's pretty fantastic. Well, they really are utilizing their fruits. Oh, it's kinda got a, let me go again. Yeah, it's very sweet, but it's very sweet without the calories. Or less. Share over ice, so I don't have ice. But that is very nice. It's reminding me of something. It's kind of got a little bit of a Vimto-y tang to the end or something. But whatever it is, that's very nice. I mean, it's a British, a British cider. 30% lower calories than others. That's beautiful. So, yeah. I would definitely, strongly advise Crane Cider. This is the blueberry and apples version. I know there were a few other flavors I saw. Naturally, I don't recall which ones. And naturally, I don't remember how much this was. But there you go, I definitely recommend it. Crane Cider. And that was today's Cider of the Sesh. Cider of the Sesh. Radio people. So I thought I'd quickly just show you the rig I've been using. This is the rig I've used to catch all the fish so far. So IQ. Some bad lighting here. Fuck you, D-Rig. So, what have we got here? I mean, I have actually been using this. What have we got here? I think that's a 3 or 3.5 ounce lead, possibly. I've been using a smaller one than that slightly, but that will come off when I caught the last fish. And to this, this is the money right here. If you come to Cackle Hill, I honestly advise some kind of garlic infused boilies. I think this was just a normal cell boily that I had soaking in garlic goo for the longest of times. And whenever I've come here, the garlic goo seems to do the bits. No fresh goo on it, just as I did it. I'm pretty sure I put garlic goo on them last year, so they've just been sitting there chilling with that one. And then just down to a normal bit of dump some tubing. Pretty simple, really. Lead, lead clip system. Down to that. That's all I've been using. I mean, so I did have on another rod a different rig earlier. I tried a Ronnie rig on my second rod. That wasn't working. The RQD rig's been the one, so. Switched them both to that rig now. And that's the money shot. So that's my rigs. Currently, I've got one. that little bay there, that's the one that's been catching all the fish. I'm now probably going to put one. There's a red mark on a tree there, that signifies the end of my swim. Probably just to the left of that, in between that tree and the next tree along to the left. I might pop the other one in there, or I might just put one in the middle. That's the fish are cruising through. I've seen a lot of fish cruise through the middle, but on top obviously. So they're the options. It's a glorious evening though. Perfect weather. Even if I don't catch another fish. More than that, look at this, beautiful. It's just so refreshing to be out the house and not work. Be allowed to somewhere else, peace and quiet. Minus the fact that it's busy, which is slightly annoying, but 
got some new bots turning up next door. But yeah, it's looking like a lovely evening. Hopefully we get a couple more fish. Stay tuned. Update for you. We're now in my last last day. As per, let's have a look here. Hold oh it. Always prepared. Hold tight. It's currently half ten in the morning. No fish overnight. To be fair, I haven't seen anybody catching a fish yet. Uh, no, bit of a quiet one so far. Currently a bit overcast, but with the occasional bit of heat, bit of sun. See, I've got, what is it, that's 10, 11, 12, I've got about six or seven hours left on the bank. I've just put two, two new rigs out, fresh hooks, fresh bait, freshly spotted, only, only like three spots on each one. I've just, you know, you've mixed particle, that's all I'm putting out there. Which, within that, I've put in some, uh, you can get it in Morrison's, probably all superstores, like um, a garlic salt. They seem to love garlic stuff here, so I put some garlic salt in my mixed spod mix and it smells good. So yeah, we've put two new baits out there, two new rigs, two new rods, two everything. And that'll probably be left there now for the last, the remainder of my time here. So fingers crossed, we can bag another fish. If not, you know, it's been a good little session. Well, I had four fish, two 31 pounders. And if you told me I would do that last year before I caught my, my PB, I'd have never believed you. But now, two 31 pounders and a 31 pound common. I'm not even sure what the, the last time I ever caught a big common that was probably more than 10 pound. I, uh, doesn't happen. So a nice 31 pound common, very happy with that. So fingers crossed I don't get another one today. If not, it's probably the last check in with you. So if you like the video, um, again, production quality might not be as great as normal because it's a bit complicated catching the fish and filming. Be easy if I had a GoPro, but I don't. So yeah, if you like the video, I'd appreciate if you smash that like button, support the channel. And if you hit the subscribe button, I'd much appreciate it. We're trying our best to get to a thousand subscribers. I'd really appreciate your help with that. If you click the notification bell as well, every time we post a video, you will be notified of it. And that costs nothing. I mentioned it earlier. It's free to subscribe. 
cost you nothing, earns me nothing. Just you can see our videos. When they come up, you get notified of them. Now all being well, if all you anglers out there can maintain the guidance given to us that's enabled us to fish, and across the country hopefully the COVID cases don't go right back up and we're still allowed to go fishing. Then all being well, I'll be down here again, uh, 5th of June. 5th of June? I don't know, beginning of June sometime. But I'll have Tony with me that time. I think one of Tony's mates coming down, Mick, I think he featured in. He's uh, on the channel. Click this link here, you can see him make a cracking omelette. So I think he's coming down. Maybe he'll rustle up something beautiful again, who knows. But yeah, for now, unless there's any more fish, which I hope there will be. For now, I'll be seeing you. And remember, keep those lines wet. Bye-bye.